Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today I'll be looking at Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Prism, uh, a booster box, which is lots of fun. Um, 36 booster packs in here. Uh, let's start cracking it open and see what we get. Uh, I have to say I haven't really seen much of uh, the whole Ultra series. I played Sun and Moon, but uh, not Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so prepare for me to butcher some of these names. Alright. First pack. So we'll uh, we'll go through commons a little bit to start with and then towards the end of the video start just, you know, cutting them out. So Carnivine, got Sneasel, Eevee is back again, because you know it has to be in every set. Magma, uh, Molol. Hello, Lynn Sandrew, which is reverse. Let's see if that focuses properly. Ooh, that was a good first pack. <laughs> Can't complain of that. We have a full art Lana. Nice. So, supporter. Um, as always, can only play one supporter in a turn. And this heals 50 damage from each of your Pokemon that has water energy attached to it, which is actually really, really good. Um, yeah. Very happy with uh, with that first pack. Uh, Dark Energy, got Lily, Magneton is uh, the uncommon, and a Palpad, and a code which I've just shown. Oh well, someone can claim that code. Congratulations. I keep forgetting, I have to take the code out the back of the pack. Got too excited about getting the, uh, the full art straight away. There you go. Take that one out. Um, execute. We've got Lickitung, Weasel, Eevee, Salandit, and a Reverse Hollow Shinx. Why do I need to say Shinx? Let me take the other Reverse Hollow out as well. Let me put that in a separate pile. Uh, Shaman is our rare. Change the pack. I swear the, the packs didn't used to be like that. Because one, the rare was like two or three from the back, and now. There's like a whole energy card in there and everything. Uh, fairy energy, always useful. Um, Printflop, Gardenia, and Gabite. I can just imagine the comments being, you know, why are you saying the name wrong? <laughs> it's because I can't pronounce them. Uh, you got Bronzor, Gibble, Gible. However, Patrice, Yanma, Murkrow, and a Super Boost Energy. That looks really cool. I do like the foiling on that. So Special Energy, this card provides colorless energy, and while it's attached to a Stage 2 Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. Uh, if you have three or more Stage 2 Pokemon in play, it provides every type of energy, but provides four energy at a time. That is really trying to push people towards building uh, decks that use evolutions. Which, you know, fair enough. It, it kind of... It's better than how it used to be with just EXs everywhere in the game. So, uh, I know GXs are still in this, but in a slightly different way. Um, now that, that was like a special thing in the pack. What's going on here? Uh, Roserade is rare. So... Speaking of evolutions, um, yeah, it evolves from Rosalia. And uh, Flower Tornado seems quite good. Move any number of uh, grass energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Does 100 damage as well. I uh, got Water Energy, Order Pad, Driflim, and Mars. That's pretty good, actually. Draw two cards. If you do, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. I can see people playing that. But I have absolutely no idea what's happening with like where stuff is in, in the booster packs at the moment. It all seems a little random <laughs> for my liking. I know there's probably a, a method to their madness, but you know it's Pokemon Co. So who knows? Uh, Lickitung, Chimchar, Persimmon, Baneri, and you know, cool. We just got like. The basic and the evolution from it in one go. Um, got Magnazone, nice hollow one there. There's the rare. 
So a Steel Stage 2 Pokemon, Magnetic Circuit with the ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Steel Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. That's pretty good. Getting more energy out is always good in this game. And Zap Cannon for 130, but you can't use Zap Cannon during your next turn. That's really bad. But I suppose you only use him for his ability. And the Fairy Energy, Orangaroo, Looker Whistle, and a Floatzel. Oh my god, I can't get into this one. Been defeated by a booster pack. Got Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Vulpix. This is the Alolan pack apparently. Bronzor, Jupiter, Piplop, and a Reverse Hollow Roselia. Alolan Executor. That looks really cool. 130 Dragon type. Executor's Paradise. For each of your benched ex execute, search your deck for an Alolan Executor or Alolan Executor GX. Put it onto that ex execute to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. That's really cool. You can just build an entire deck around that. Um, Draco Meteor, Meteor Barrage, 80 times. So flip a coin for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each heads. Um, yeah, I mean, I could definitely see a fun deck. Um, like built around that card. That is a. You can't really see it in the video, but that is more brown than red. On that fire energy, crazy. Uh, Looker, draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. That's interesting. I assume there's probably still mechanics in there that put cards on the bottom of your deck, so you know what you're going to draw next. Fairy, fair enough. You know. Could be useful. Nova, Glamiao, Drifloon, Morlul, Cosmog, uh, Electric Memory. Huh, cool. The Sivali GX this card is attached to is an electric Pokemon. Interesting one. Ooh, Palkia GX. Nice. So, Dragon Type GX has uh, one water for spatial control. Move any number of energy cards from your bench Pokemon to this Pokemon. Um, it's pretty cool. And Hydro Pressure, this attack does 20 more damage times the number of, uh, times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. Helps if I, you know, keep reading the sentence that I'm currently on rather than trying to skip ahead. And you can use this GX move, Zero Vanish, for three water and two colorless, deals 150 damage, and shuffle all energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck. That is disgusting. Um, yeah, I can see this being an extremely good card. Another uh, Dark Energy, Fire Memory, uh, Brozong, and Missing Clover. I am just skipping over like those trainer cards, but honestly the trainer cards are, are what make a deck in this game. So Execute, Magmite, Weasel, another Magmite, both different artworks. Uh, Crogunk, got a Reverse Cherim. Got a Wash Rotom. That was the rare. Steel Energy, Gabite, Monferno, and Fire Memory. Let's throw that pack. Rosalia, Gibble, Electabuzz, Chimchar, Pantrusu. Got a Reverse Hollow Toxicroak. That's pretty cool. And a Hollow Lucario. So Precognitive Aura is his ability. Once during your turn, if you have Garchomp in play, you may search your deck for a card, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So double teaming with uh, Garchomp. That's pretty cool. Um, Missile Jab. This attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. That's really good. And yeah, I mean, stage one, but not bad. 110 HP. And then a Steel Rotom. Ooh, unit energy, so it provides colorless energy. While this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides fire, um, grass, and water energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So, useful to have in. 
and Cosmoem. It's essentially colour fixing, something that you know other games have had for a long time. Um, Pokemon haven't always been the best at what's well, gone wrong here. Look at this. The foil was just. Ugh. Um, yeah, other games have had colour fixing for a long time. Pokemon has struggled with it a little bit, in my opinion, but now it's in. Uh, Snova. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I'm going to mess that up because there's just too many T's in that. Uh, Shinx, T Fighter, Gibble, Gible, again, mispronouncing. Uh, Magmite is the reverse hollow. Bastiodon is the hollow rare. Fighting Energy, Alolan Dug Trio. I, this card just makes me like, why did they put hair on it? <laughs> it just looks like a really bad version of Heat Man or something. Uh, unit Energy, um, the uh, electric psychic steel version, and Print Up. Simeon, Shinx, Kyvine, Murkrow, Magmite, and a Reverse Hollow Rotom as I knock that pile of cards over. We got Drapion as the rare. And some energy. Uh, Monferno. Pokemon Fan Club is back again. Uh, Cranidos as the other uncommons. Um, Riolu, Beagle, Krogunk, Turtwig. And Magmite as the reverse. Fan Rotom as the rare. Yeah. So uh, the ability is interesting. So if you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of this Pokemon attacks. That's really funny. Um, so spinning fan, this stack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, but if you've got loads of cards in your discard pile, you don't need any energy. So. Interesting. Another fire energy, gum shoes, ancient crystal, and spiritum. Eventually, one of these packs is going to open properly. I don't know what kind of glue they're using, but it's, it's stronger than normal. Uh, Sandit, Persimian, Shinx, Escape Board, Reverse Hollow. That's kind of funny actually that you know you just put the pokemon on the skateboard and suddenly it can retreat faster and can even do so when paralyzed or asleep nice uh garchomp nice um so this tag does 50, quick dive this tag does 50 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon um and royal blades if you played cynthia from your hand during this turn this tag does 100 more damage nice Psychic Energy, Volkner, uh, Cosmo, and Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, did I just open a pack with no troubles? Uh, Cosmog, Turtwig, Electabuzz, Cherubi, Glamia, a Reverse Hollow Gumshoes, a Hollow Infernate. Artwork's pretty cool on that one. They're going very deep with the whole stage two thing, like with that trainer card from earlier. Um, there's lots of stage twos of the the rares. Uh, I mean, there normally is, but it seems to be more than normal. Um, but the ability on this puts six damage counters instead of two on your opponent's burn Pokemon between turns. That's awesome. Uh, and burst punch, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. So that's like 150 damage. Uh, 110 damage, sorry. I can do maths, honestly. Um, for two energy, that's that's disgusting. And you know, if they heal it, fair enough. But that's 150 damage for two energy. That's good. Water energy, Cynthia. So, uh, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six. That's very good. Roll, escape board.
Some of these cards seem to have quite a high power level compared to uh, previous sets. So Glamiao, Drifloon, Alolan Sandshrew. Okay, I'm going to try it. Hippopotas. Okay, I think I did it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Riolu, uh, Reverse Hollow Bernieri. Mo Rotom, because Rotom can do everything. Um, special Mo. <laughs> Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So, yeah. 60 damage for 3, but you can get it for free because Rot Rotomotor can get stuff for free. I mean, that is like a complete build around card or set of cards. Uh, Missing Clover, Terminator, and Bronzong. Now, with the Rotoms, you just have four of each Rotom in your deck and the rest just tools. You don't even need to play any energy cards. And then you just play loads of cards that put stuff in your discard pile. And then you just get in all your attacks for free. And you've got all that extra space in your deck that would normally be taken up with energy that you can just use for fun stuff. Uh, you've got Sneasel, Magmite, Cheruby, Buneary, Hippopotas, a Reverse Hollow, Glamiao, and Cresselia as the Hollow Rare. And yeah, I'm just skipping all of the. Ah! All of the uncommons. I think pretty sure we've seen all of the uh, commons now, so I'm just going to skip through them fairly quickly. Got a Reverse Hollow Ampoleon. Pretty nice looking. He's looking very buff. Got a Heat Rotom. So again, you just build a Rotom deck. Looks fun. I mean, obviously you won't be able to attack for a while while you try and get all those cool cards in the discard pile, but I'm sure there's ways. Eevee, Vulpix, Stunky, Alolan Sandslash, Reverse Hollow, looks really cool. I do like the uh, the new um, new attacks. So spike armor during your opponent's next turn if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack. Put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Um, and also deals 30 damage. It's just solid to have the ability of using an attack that doesn't cost anything. And Frost Breath isn't too bad either. And a Frost Rotom. Yeah, that one's really good actually. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Unless you're playing the mirror match and you're not actually playing it, like your opponent's not playing energy. In which case, that's just doing 10 damage every turn. But, you know. I seriously want to build a Rotom deck now. Ooh, got something good in the back of this one. Uh, Young Goose, Magma, Alolan Diglett, and Lunala. Nice. I do like what they've done with these, like, like the foiling and stuff on these cards. They're so nice. Um. So the whole Prism Star rule thing, you can't have more than one uh, Prism card with the same name in your deck. And if it goes to the discard pile, put it into the Lost Zone instead. Um, so Full Moon Star, for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a Psychic Energy uh, from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Um, that's really good. And Psy so Storm, this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon. That's absolutely disgusting um yeah yeah very good card i'm just gonna put it in that pile a little sound flash uh, energy perugly skin tank and electric memory And that Lunala card, I can see why people still collect uh, this game. Uh, Stunky, Reverse Hollow, Salazzle, there's the rare. Got energy and some uncommons. Sargalio, 
So we've got Lulan, Lunala and Songalia. Nice. Um, yeah, so Radiant Star for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Attach a Steel Energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. And Corona Impact. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. 160 damage. I'll actually put that in the shot rather than just randomly waving it around. Um, this Pokemon... I mean, not being able to attack in your next turn is pretty big downside. Uh, and only 160 damage for 4 energy. But he is a basic. Um, I think the Lunala has a better attack, to be honest. But, I mean, Solgallo is cool. Oh, wow, that was a great pack. Um, yeah, Secret Rare, awesome. Uh, Peking Red Card. Both of those in the same pack, nice. Um, your opponent reveals their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in their hand, shuffle those cards into their deck, then draw that many cards. Um, yeah, sure. It looks nice. I've always liked the, uh, the textured foiling on these. Um, and I can go in that pile. It's not a particularly amazing card, like, game-wise, but as a collector, like, they're well worth getting your hands on. Again, I'm just skipping all the comments now. I think we've seen pretty much every single one. Uh, Drifling, uh, Electivir, uh, Psychic Energy, Cosmo, Luca, Yan Mega. I think it feels like that's quite a small set in regards to the number of commons. But there are still quite a few cards we haven't seen from the higher rarities. I got Bronzor. Shinotic, new fairy type. Uh, so once during illuminate, once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a fairy Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. That's quite nice actually. And flickering spores, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. The attack's not great, but I mean you can just search for the fairy Pokemon that you need. Whether it's uh, something you need for an evolution. Or, you know, you just want your big EX or GX to come in and, like, blast your opponent out of the water. So it's Salazzle, Reverse Hollow. Uh, Torterra is Hollow. And let's, let's not show off that. You nearly forgot there. I'm like, why is there an extra card at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the impotence, and it's because I forgot to take that out at the start again. Uh, Scroopy, Lickitung, Chimchar. Got a reverse hollow fire memory. Uh, Magurna. What is going on in that artwork? Looks pretty cool. Um, energy and uncommon. Just once, seriously, just once I would love to get into a pack without destroying it. Um, a bomber snow. Another frost proton. Some energy, a skateboard, and Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow, uh, another Shinotic, Energy, and some more uncommon. A Reverse Hollow Snova, a Requinid. Commons. Nothing really exciting in the last few packs, but we are due something in a second, I would imagine. I'd say in the next like three packs or something. Uh, Carnivine Reverse Hollow and Licky Licky as the rare. Don't know why I put that voice on when I said that. Ah, 
nearly forgot again. There we go. Uh, let's see, where am I? There, okay. Sorry, trying to get all the commons out of the way. Uh, Persimian as the reverse and type null, nice. As the rare. I remember type null from the game and I was like, yeah, type null, finally, and then realized it's actually not that good until you really level it up. And at that stage, I was already well ahead of, uh, like I'd already out-leveled it. Uh, Hippowden, as the reverse hollow rare. Another type null, two in a row, crazy. Diglett, Reverse Hollow Fan Club, another Hip Howden, but this time not reverse. Not the Cranidos Solo and Dog Trio. We are getting towards the end of the box. So we're definitely due some uh, some good stuff in a second. Otherwise I'm gonna be very disappointed. Uh, Luxio Tapu Lele, nice. Uh, Psywave does 20 damage times the number times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Attacks like that are always so good because um, your opponent's almost always going to be uh, loading their po their Pokemon up with energy. So and it only costs one, and it's it's a basic. And it's 110 HP. HP. I mean, this is really good. Uh, Magic Swap. Move any number of damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon to their other Pokemon in any way you like. So you do loads of damage to it. And if it survives and you want to kill off something on the bench, you just do that. It's great. They also have a, you know, I play fairies most of the time, so, you know. <laughs> I'm always going to pay more attention to the fairy cards. Find it, execute the Amma Drifloon. Got a reverse hollow Alolan Executor. Toxicroak. Psychic Energy. And some more uncommons. Yeah. Destroying everything. Hey, we are due something. So, summoned it, reverse hollow, and a Leafeon GX. I do like Leafeon. I know it's not the best Pokemon in the world, but I do have it in my team in uh, Sun and Moon. Uh, so 200 HP, uh, evolves from EV. The ability is Breath of the Leaves. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. Free heal every turn. Not bad. <laughs> uh, Soil the Beam. 3 energy for 110 damage, that's pretty good. And Grand Bloom is the GX move. So for each of your bench basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon, put it onto the Pokemon to evolve it, and shuffle your deck. That is really, really good. Um, of course, you're limited to just the one attack, like GX attack, but still, like if you're playing an Evolutions deck or an Evolutions deck, um, that's really good. That's really strong. Seems like, like I said before, there are some like, quite high power cards in this set. I think they've learned a little bit from uh, what they did with the GX moves in the first few sets when they bought them out, because some of them were really underpowered. Uh, some of them were really overpowered, but some of them were, you know, not that great. Uh, Luxray, Hollow. Whereas that feels strong, but not like absolutely game breaking. I think that's how they should be. And the last pack, so we've got Scrooby, Stunky, Young Goose, Magmar, Alolan Diglett, Honchcrow, and Araquanid to finish us off. Cool. So, um, yeah, I think that the set is, is very good, actually. Like, nothing really, really overpowered, necessarily, but 
definitely some strong cards and some strong deck archetypes as well. Like with the whole Rotom thing, um, the, the Leafeon like evolution thing going on there. Um, I think the Lunala um, kind of strategy could be good as well. Um, you know, Psychic's always been about getting loads of energy out and dealing loads of damage based on how much energy you have. Um, but this is just a great card for that. Um, you got Palkia also just getting loads of energy out. And all the, the other little things with like the extra energy cards and stuff. Seems really good. Um, so yeah. And then let's just have a quick look at the, the haul of, of cool cards we got. Um, so we, we got the full art Lana, we got the Leafeon, we got the uh, secret rare peaking uh, red card, got a few of the uh, the Prism Star cards, and a Park GX. So overall, good box. Um, and remember, you can buy and sell uh, all of the cards you've seen in the video uh, on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Um, and yeah, feel free to come and watch some more videos with me attempting to open packs and failing horribly and mispronouncing names. Um, and you can subscribe to keep up to date with that. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.